Okay, but I, I can see right here. Uh, 50, 29, but he's level 25. Uh, uh, magic, 30. So it's 50 attack, 30 magic. 132 attack, 10 magic. 75 attack, 18 magic. 87 attack, 0 magic. I think that's because he doesn't have any magic spells yet. He lost a bunch, I guess, in the fight. Well, how do I still not have enough? I'm still at 97? How much money did they drop? Jesus, guys. I need money. Here, you fight me. Jesus. I still have 97. I didn't even go up a thousand. What was that about? Okay. Damn. Oh, great. Now oh, he's getting gangbanged in the corner. Fantastic. <sighs> oh, good. Loving this. Oh my god, I didn't... Okay, no. Did I save? Oh, I didn't save! Oh no, I didn't save. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my goodness, I forgot to save. That's bad. That is very, 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 very bad. I don't want to die and fight him again. No, 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 no. Oh, kill the mummy. Just kill the mummy. Okay, okay. I can get to the teleporter. It'll be okay. It'll all be okay. Oh my goodness. That would have blown. Oh, thank you. Now I have enough money anyway. <clears throat> Right, well, I'm, I'm gonna be stupid and try and make it to Rashlo before healing and saving. Because I'm an idiot! Ugh. We'll have enough time to set up the next episode nicely, I believe. Whew! Yeah, um, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Idiot, idiot, idiot. This can only end in tears, I 100% guarantee it. Thankfully, all the enemies here, I would be able to kill in one hit anyway. But there's a chance, however small, I might get my shit wrecked. Yeah! No! Get to the thing, thank you. <laughs> he flows past. Oh, Epros. Okay, I'll get his thing, heal, and then save. Whew. That would, uh, I don't know. I might not have continued at that point. I might have been done for the day. Uploaded this as like a blooper reel or some shit. Who are you? Lady of Leisure. By your strange rumors lately, such bad talk for our children. If you say so. He's happy. That guy's really happy. Uh, shop. Okay. Hey, babe. What's up? It's all about me, girl. Oh, wow. I thought everyone would be talking about the evil king and the hero forever. But you know, I've already heard. It's already over new. Fuck. I've heard it's already old news. I guess those big events are always like that, aren't they? She didn't really seem all about me. I gave her the horrible valley girl voice I can do, and, uh, she really didn't seem to care. It's like, oh, man, I got wrapped up. Huh? What? Too young? Oh! Okay. Sure. Right. Um, lady? I'm, I'm, what? Hundred and, fuck you. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Can I sell? I might have some stuff to sell. Uh... I can probably get rid of all my charms. I had more and more. <sighs> Five. Nice. Yeah, I can get rid of all the charms and awakening stone things, I guess. <laughs> Fuck the write-off charm. 
Uh, this isn't getting me anywhere close. I need to sell things in thousands. What do we got? A guardian crystal? Absolutely. Go for it. What do we got? Infantry pants? Go for it, buddy. Sell that shit. 950 for... Oh, yeah. Shit. Go for it. Omni Slice Sword, sure. Why not? Durable Outfit? Absolutely. Don't have it equipped. Why not? How is Evade Spells? How is that 100? Come on, guys. Uh, yeah, that wasn't even close. Fuck. Mm. Damn it. That's annoying. How much is his Tux, then? Conveniently, it's not that far away. But I still need to rest and save. Holy shit. Um, wasn't there a woman in here who, um... She... It was this house, right? She wanted to hear the story of... The Turtle and the Pebble. Eh? Yeah. Easygoing lady who doesn't have eyes. No, uh, it's a hilarious story. Let me hear it. Tortoise had been living pebble a while. One day, Red Turtle visited the territory. Tortoise welcomed the Red Turtle and introduced her family, of course. They called her... They called the pebble her baby. Red Turtle was shocked, and of course, like, huh? So you gave birth to a pebble? See, at that point, no one had said anything to Tortoise about it. But the Red Turtle was the first to speak up. Your baby, it's nothing but a pebble. It's such a common sense, but all took it for granted. They were stunned for silence for a long while. Tortoise finally says something. Tortoise laughs and goes, Excuse me, Red Turtle, what are you talking about calling my baby a pebble? Look at my baby, Red Turtle. My baby has listened to our conversation, it's not saying that it's not my baby. And Red Turtle thought, Of course it doesn't, because it's a pebble. But it gave up and said nothing. And the pebble thought, Of course I don't, I'm a pebble. But couldn't say anything. Because it's a pebble. The Red Turtle couldn't say anything. Because, the tortoise continued, If that were the case, then I'd be a complete fool! The Red Turtle was in a tough spot. Uh, hmm, you're, <laughs> sorry. Well, Tortoise, you are. <laughs> can't stand it anymore. There's only a little left, but I can't. Huh. I had always missed that part about that story, I guess. So. It's supposed to be the game, clearly. The red tortoise being, uh, me, I believe. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be the red tortoise in that joke. Anyway. Well, yeah, I guess me doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but then who would it be? Red. Oh, hey, so. <sighs> please, please, yeah, let me first heal up for reasons, I guess. Oh, yeah, I took some damage. Uh, yes, 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 I'll save the game because, holy crap, I'm gonna die. Oh, that would be so bad. I'd be so mad if I had to fight that asshole again. Okay. Well, well, eh, I will. I was about to say, will I have time to really set up the next episode? But I think about it, and it's like, yeah, I'm, I'll keep recording just to leave it on a cliffhanger. Whew! I am really fucking hungry right now. Damn, I am hungry. Like you have no idea. Uh, Alright, guys. Well. Bit of a crapshoot in the quickest way to get there, since uh, it's the inn at the post post snowfields, I guess. So. Hmm. Ah, oh, fuck me. God damn it, just run from these guys. Doesn't matter. You know that thing in Earthbound where. If you encounter an enemy that's weaker than you, you just auto-kill it. More games need to do that. Because this is kind of lame. This is really lame. Huh. <sighs> okay. I need to head up this way. Yeesh. Stick to the road more traveled. I don't know its exact location. I think it might be this way. I can never remember the exact... There it is. Never mind. I can always remember the exact location of this thing. It's right here. Where else would it be? 
Am I right? Of course I'm right. Good music for this area, I guess. What sort of enemies are in here, actually, now that I think about it? I don't believe I've encountered too many. Hey, Ampros, remember this place? Yeah, I bet you do. Fight me. Oh! Okay. Um. Oh, God. Um. Let's see if I can just get it without checking the book, because I put the book away. Tyrannically. Uh, okay. Uh, invoke dark power. And do chores. And rule absolutely. Tyrannically invoke dark power and rule absolutely. There we go. Okay. Didn't need the book for that one. Sometimes they're a little silly, and you need the book. Anyway, now we got the... I, yeah, Raging Devil. Mm, yeah, mm, mm, yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Would you look at that? Hey, Epros, did you see that? He could have done that at any time. Mm, yeah, how about that? Fuck you, Stan. Hate your guts. A nut. I got one nut. And fair... Eh, I think I got like a thousand from that. No. Hopefully the tux is only a hundred. Then at least, you know, parts of Epros are better than his base stats. Anyway. Don't know what they go off and do. Roslyn, I guess, hits the hot springs. Epros, man, fucks off, I guess. Uh, you there. Welcome! Are you staying? Make yourself at home at our special hot springs. I... Uh, oh, fuck. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Fuck. Are you not enjoying the springs? Oh, yeah, I'm going to stick with Epros and Roslyn. Yes, Epros and Roslyn. Okay, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Ooh, what a troop, dude. The scary great evil king disappeared, so it became peaceful. Traveling is pretty easy now. I was in the bath a little too long. I feel dizzy. Taking a bath all day is, all, all day long is, you know, not good for your health. What am I doing losing my health at a spa? Now I cannot have a bottle of juice after the bath. Oh, what a silly thing to do. I was get it's getting chilly. I can't keep talking to you forever like this. I gotta take a bath again. You think I'm silly? You know, I'm just having the hair of the dog that bit me. Why don't you join me? Why don't you sweat off your fatigue from your journey? Thanks, I'll stick to buying stuff. 